Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Clash here on Evolve Sports Live. My name is Langelo on Xbox, the founder of Evolve Sports Live, and we have three major matchups for you tonight, all coming in the hockey division. The first matchup you'll see is Ace XBS and the Washington Capitals taking on Commando Slippy and the Detroit Red Wings. In our second matchup, Hey, thanks so much, Langel. Not sure if I'm able to be heard or not, as Chad is saying that we lost audio when you switched those uh, little things. And through my own monitoring, monitoring, I see that we are able to be heard. So that's wonderful. Really, really excited to be here. How about you, Colby? Man, I couldn't be more stoked. You know, uh, had a long off season when it comes to the to broadcasting hockey. Now we are absolutely stoked to bring to you the first ever episode of Clash brought to you by Evolve Sports. I cannot wait to see what the outcome between the Washington Capitals, <clears throat> excuse me, and Ace uh, against uh, Slippy and the Red Wings. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen here, brother. Really, really exciting. We did have a hockey tournament uh, at a, in a different iteration here, but this for Evolve Sports Live is the first hockey game, and what a way to kick it off with Ace and Slippy. I mean, Ace toppled me in a in a bracket. He's beaten me in some private games, uh, and and Slippy I've played with for a long, long time. So both these guys are gonna be really, really good to see each, them face each other. You know, Slippy he's a he's a good competitor when it comes to across all the sports and all games that we. Uh, have here at Evolve, really, and and Ace is a, is a former TPCFL, our current TPCFL champion, so it's going to be interesting to see what these teams can do against each other. Yeah, they had a heck of a game against each other in uh, football, in the football league for Evolve Sports as well, uh, where Ace was able to, to overcome Slippy and walk away with his Tornado title, so he's not only the TPCFL champion, but also the Tornado title holder for that league so fascinating breakaway for slippy shot on easy save for samsonov so far slippy's really putting on a lot of pressure here with detroit on top of ace so it's uh, good to see slippy getting some uh, okay uh shots here on uh to begin this period absolutely tie up washington's going to try and take this one down all alone orlog for the rocket but not able to get on net as it's broken up by the defense. Now coming back the other way, Detroit all alone going for a slapper and bump from behind. Ekstrom dumps it in and we'll get a line change here. Oh, no we won't, that's some icing. Yeah, a little bit questionable on the icing, but uh, you know, now Ace has to deal with a face off uh, to the left of his keeper here. So it's gonna be interesting to see what Slippy could do, but he's gonna lose that face off meter. He does. Being bumped around a bit. Some these. This is that feeling out period. Oh, an injury uh -oh. on the play on the hit. So we're gonna see a fight right out of the gate. Wilson squaring up here against Stahl. A lot of face shots. A couple of good dodges and down to the ground goes Stahl. Wilson comes out on top for his team early in this game. Looks like Stahl might have gotten a little bit dummy on that. He's pretty wobbly leg trying to stand up there, as you can see. Ah, now we see the outcome of the fight there. That was quite the hit that he laid on to Backstrom. It was, and usually when an injury, when a, uh, oh man, his face is all jacked up. What a great fight to, to lead this one off. Some, the tempers flare early. Maybe some uh, carryover from the football matches between these two. Very, very likely, I would say, there, Meter. This one dumped in again for another icing. He's he's behind that midline when he's dumping that, and 
it's going to be an icing every time. Yeah, I think he's yep. thinking that he's he's past the deadline, but uh, you just got to wait an extra couple of strides there and he'll be past it. You got to remember, uh, for all intents and purposes, Ace is still a rookie. Um, so, you know, he's very new to this game. So I, I imagine we're going to see some of the some things that, you know, you might see from rookies, some some minor mistakes like icing and, and offsides and things of that nature. But we'll see. Absolutely. Really impressed with the physicality of the Slippy showing here with Detroit. Uh, not a team known for right now for its offensive prowess, but you know they're, he's really laid in the body well so far. Big shot on from on top of the left-hand circle. This one blocked by Sansonov. We'll take a whistle. I, I couldn't agree more. I think this has been a very good, very good battle so far. He seems to have the uh, face-offs pretty well scouted. He's doing well on face-offs so far. I'll be interested to see the stats at the end of this period. You're going to weigh a mid-ice. Fired way to the left of the net. Detroit will take it back the other way. And a one-on-one -on -one with Carlson. Breaks past him. Wide open. Shot on the left side. Blocked by the keeper. What a glove on the stick side. Holy cow. Oh! Oshied misses just left as the keep's able to bump it up over his shoulder. Some more quick passing. Breaking into the zone. Squaring up. Shot on. And Samsonov able to hold on. Yeah, it's uh, pretty incredible. You know, you got a Washington and Ace really have to get their two big guns in Oshi and uh, in uh, Ovechkin. Got to get some more inf offense for them. Get more opportunities, I mean. That one won back by Washington and they're controlling here. Getting bumped around a little. Not a lot of room to pass as Detroit's closing in on them, but we're going to see an easy icing here from Detroit. Yeah, that was a missed pass there, it looks like to me, Meter. And uh, don't forget your uh, your former captain and uh, defensive boy, Chara, is also playing for Washington now. So there's another equalizer. He is indeed a very, very hard guy to get past on the defense, but we'll see how... Uh, how he's used in games like this. Player control matters more. Shot on on the rebound and not able to get it. What a block by the rookie, Samsonov. Taking it, it in on the right side. Go ahead. Yeah, it just shows how good his movement is coming across that crease. That net was wide open, and he just slid across there like, like nobody's business. Very, very good play by Samsonov. Left of the net in the circle. One back again to Chara this time. Up to Matthew and Eller. Hagelin shot on trying to go left side on Bernier and not able to break him. Passes it right back out. Another shot on and this one bounces either off the defender or off his face. I couldn't quite tell. I think it was off the defender. It might have been off. He was either the defender or Bernier. One or the other. I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh... Ace is doing one heck of a job on the faceoff here. He was, I believe, the sh uh, the graphics said seven to one so far. Holy cow! Trying to get the puck out of their own zone, and there's that offsides. Not even realizing his guy wasn't back yet. Classic mistake from younger happens, professionals. <laughs> One back again now trying to get the shot on, but good stick presence to block that all up. Breaking into the zone and some miscommunication here on Slippy's side. It looks like he tried to dump it in there and it just didn't go where he wanted it to, or his players didn't, I should say. Washington Boy, trying to break it. in. Does pass across, not able to get there. Going all the way up to the point. Picked up by Detroit and dumped in low. Top of the right circle. Bouncing around. Not able to get it out. And there it goes. Detroit finally able to move that puck. Up the left side. Oh, a two-on-one and he gives it away. Rocket ship, but nowhere near the right area. That a three-on-one there, Meter was wild to take a wild shot like that when the three on one
shot after the whistle. Some poor sportsmanship could lead to more fights in the future. You know, the people out there just want, they have the bloodlust. They want to see some more fights. May just get their wish. Three on zero shot on and it's in the back of the net. He absolutely wired that from about six feet away. DJ Oshi. Let's see a replay on that bad boy. Unbelievable. He let go of the puck and drifted, pulled back his stick and just rocketed it. Bernier had no chance on that. Three on zero and a rocket of a shot. Unbelievable. You want to compare to that next time you see a batting range, set it to 90 miles an hour and go ahead and stand two feet away from it and try and catch the ball as it comes out. Good luck, kids. Bernier, hold on to this one. We'll get a face off in Detroit zone. Interesting to see how Slippy's going to respond here. He's really got to work on his face-offs, I think. That's where, oh, and as I say that, he wins one. Poor pass, but able to come away with it is Detroit taking it into the zone. Bumped off the puck, but holding on. Shot across, Ooh. and it's in the net. The cross crease, and he slides back just a little bit to beat Samsonov on the back. One end of the ice, you have an absolute cannon going in, and on the other end, you have some finesse going on. You see the front of the net, little swoop and loop, and just like that, we are all even again. Detroit with the equalizer, good for them. It's really good work. Zadina drifting low the second that the defender turned around. He drifted low. Defender thought he was in place to cut the pass, made a little spot for himself, and shot it from almost behind the red line to tie this one up with 7.7 .7 left in the first. Neutral zone challenging, taking it in, shot on hard and blocked. And that'll take us to the end of the first. One one's the score. And what a game we have here. I think somebody better check Bernier when they go back out when they go to the dressing room, because he's gonna just be schlack, black and blue. But you take a look here, you see the total shots very close. Only one shot uh, separates these teams, eight to seven in the favor of Washington. The hits, definitely on Detroit's side. Slippy's laying the body. Time on attack, pretty close to being even passing. Uh, you know, could be better on both sides. But uh, you got to believe that, uh, you know, it seems a little flyer into Slippery, but he's got to work on his face-offs. Coming into the second here, we'll see if any of the Locker room talk in between has done anything for either team. They fight over it right in front of the net. Washington trying to control, but Detroit gets it out. Through the neutral zone, stood up at the line. Getting to the other side of the ice now. Passing uh -oh. backwards, all alone is Ace. Bringing it in, another shot on hard. The slapper, but it's blocked by the keep. Shot on again through the screen. He's able to hold on to it. Pass it out, dumps it in from behind middle ice. We'll have another icing. Yeah, I think someone needs to taste, teach Ace how to finesse a little bit because he's absolutely unleashing cannons. But I'm not one to, uh, I'm not one to, uh, to comment because I, I did used to do the same thing. Another shot on hard from the right circle. Pass around the backboards. Pass right to him, right to the defender. Taking it in backhand, not able to walk away with it, and he'll hold on for a whistle. Wait, Almost very, caught very aggressive. on the slide. Yeah, very aggressive running into the goalie and stuff like that. Left of the keep. Schultz to Wilson. Heading up the sideboards, passing all the way across to Sherry. He's got a lot of room, tries to cut back in and broken up. And off, up the side, two on zero, pass shot, and held on to, pass back out. What a block in a two on zero. Shot on, it's bouncing loose. Another great blocker save. One back by Detroit into the offensive zone, shot hard. Samsonov holds on and we get a whistle. Probably not a bad idea to hold on to there. 
Slippy really putting a lot of pressure on this Washington defense, and they're having to come up big, which they have so far. Sin wrapping around, able to get past all the defense. Passes missed by Hagelin, racing it into the corner. Burt comes away with a hit hard. Somehow still has it. Errant pass leads to a lot of tussling here in the neutral zone. Bumped off the puck, but holding on to it. Matha to Hagelin, Hagelin on the right side. Skating around with it, can't find anyone to pass to, and it's bumped off the puck. Uh -oh. Good stick movement coming through. All alone, <laughs> and somehow he doesn't make it in. Oh my goodness, almost put it in on himself. Now come back the other way, hard shot, and Bernier holds on to this one. Somehow that puck was almost seemingly stuck or, or, or stopped on the post and just stayed there for what seemed like forever for me but it was for only a few seconds umpto he's trying to slap it washington behind the eight ball again oh that's gonna be a penalty shot uh -oh. ripped him from behind on a breakaway no question the refs make the right call here absolutely this is gonna be interesting see if slippy can take advantage of this penalty shot one of the most exciting plays in hockey coming up meter Bringing it in, going left, backhand and wide of the net. A one-on-one -on -one with the keep, just tried to shovel it. Nice little backhand there though, but clearly didn't work out the way he wanted. The right of the goal we go, tie up. Washington comes away with it. Right, picking it off in neutral ice and a little bit more jockeying. Still in neutral ice, skating around. Trying to go end to end. Not seeing a lot of behind the network. Picked off right in front of the net. Try and go for the pass. That would have been beautiful, but a, what a pick off by Detroit. Skating with it now. Right out in front of the net. Shot hard. Going for the screen too. Great work, but Samsonov somehow able to see it and snap it up. Almost seemed like uh, Slippy was hoping oh. oh, somebody got hurt. It bounced off of their own, off of Detroit's own player, and he's heading to the bench. That can't feel good at all. Even with all that protective gear they're wearing, you still believe they, they feel that. Can't imagine. Skating around now with it is Washington. Trying to break into the offensive zone. They do, but now offside. So they're held up at the line again. Left side now. Detroit crossing right in front. Oh. Back hands it between the legs of Samsonov and into the back of the net. Beauty that might have actually there. been to his left side. Yeah, that was Dylan Larkin putting that one away. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like it comes from Bertuzzi. Yeah, and yeah. nice little backhand there. Still weird saying the name Bertuzzi on a Detroit team, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Slippy goes up 2-1 to one, uh, in, in the second period here. So it's going to be interesting now to see if Ace can somehow turn it around and, and come back or if this is just going to be too much for him. Beautiful play leads to a lead. Passing it around now. Not breaking into the offensive zone. Finally does. Larkin on the right side. Passing right out in front. And leaves him shorthanded out behind. Two on zero as he passes Ooh. around. Hard shot, but blocked by the keeper. I might have went for the pass there, Meter. That looked like it could have been a beautiful little tic-tac-toe type play there. Possibly so. But we're seeing a lot of shoot it on hard rather than pass it down in to open guys here by Washington. At least so far, hard shot Joe's just high of the goal, trying to clear it out, but right back out in front off his own guys from Detroit. 
Washington now streaking up the right side. Into the enemy territory, around, shot on hard, but a lot of traffic out in front, and it's a no-go. Taking it up the side, passing all the way up to the point, but not able to connect. Washington races them down in. Picks up the puck, pass right out in front, and nobody there to finish it. Towards the bench, all alone, two on nothing, hard shot, it's up over the air. Oh my God, <laughs> Samsonov reset somehow, three shots, three shots in a row, four shots, and finally holds on. Wow. Somebody give that man a gold medal because he deserves it. He is standing on his freaking head meter. 19 and a half left here in the second. One back, hard wrister on, but held on too tightly by the goalie. Props to Ace. This should probably be a higher scoring game, but his defense has been pretty good thus far. One back again by Detroit. Tries to shoot it on, but too many guys out in front. Three seconds left, and Detroit will clear this one from their zone and end the second. Two to one is your current score. The Red Wings with the lead, but anything can happen here. You're watching Evolve Sports Live Clash 1, the first of its kind, the first of many here on Evolve Sports Live. Absolutely. Take a look, a quick look at the stats. Both the teams are fairly close. Slippy still leading in the hit department. Face-offs well in Washington's favor right now. But, uh, you know, the, the thing that stands out is uh, that Slippy in this physical game really seem to be dominating so far. So if I'm Washington out here, I'm probably trying to hit the take, take it to their body a little bit more and, and try to create some more opportunities. Well spoken. Detroit trying to get them out of their zone. Washington holding on tight. Pass across the goal. Orlov takes it up into the corner. Skating around with it. Not a lot of passing. Ovechkin down into the corner. Nobody's there. Back up to the point. Orlov over to Carlton and steps out of bound, out of the blue line and goes offside. Yeah, he was just over there like it was very close, but good call by this linesman there. Face off one by Washington on the tie up, but Detroit takes it right back over. In the neutral zone, lots of turnovers and more offside on Washington. Over to the left side of the ice now. High up one again by Washington, but they give it away quickly. All alone was Detroit, but not able to hold on to it. And give the puck up. A lot of guys over in that right-hand corner and breaking free. Washington pass across, not able to finish it on the backhand. Potential fight on the books, but no one biting an injury on a big hit another shot out in front in Detroit somehow able to stop it it's from the Carlson skating around bounces back into the defensive zone to neutral to the offensive zone and again doing that spin move at the blue line and pulling it offside that slippy looks like he's playing some smart hockey here he's, he's basically trying to play keep away at this point keep that one goal lead and you know what if he scores another one it's a bonus at this point oh oh bad pass and nobody there to clean it up either Detroit over on the left side now turning around passing out in front over to the corner and it's bouncing around out in front Ryan with a shot and blocked by Samsonov what a play behind the net Detroit up to the point down across Ooh, nobody there ace picks it up beautiful spin move to hold it back on side that time Haglin taking it in shot on and blocked by bernier who lets it back out to his left and detroit passes it all the way back to middle ice from the offensive zone pass right out in front cross and shot wide I'd say it might have been intentional for a pass but nobody home right is darndest there Quick little line change there for Washington. 
down in the corner, skating it right back out in front. Not a lot of passing going on on the offensive zone for Washington. A lot of skating around. Shot on, glove by Bernie. He passes it right back out. Left side now, waiting. Trying to hold from going offside. Skating all the way back over to the left. Out in front, backhand, and held on to for the whistle. Only 9.49 left to go in this period, and in this game meter, Detroit, or excuse me, Washington and uh, Ace really need to pour on some offense here. They've got to get Ovechkin going. Slapper, Samsonov grabs it, passes it right out. Quick passing, but Detroit walks away with it again. Stolen by Washington, stolen by Detroit in middle ice. Into the offensive zone, turns, shot very wide. Cross right out in front, shot on hard. Samsonov flashes the leather, passing it back out again, all the way down the ice, and just misses an icing. Passing up the left side. Trying to hold on to his Detroit, but a lot of pressure. Prior to Oshi, Oshi to Kuznetskov. Over to Ovechkin backhand and an easy stop for the keeper on Detroit. Bernier is getting is is getting pretty lucky here tonight. Most of the shots that he's facing are, are direct. He's got good line of sight and he's able to make good saves. One back hard Ooh. slap shot on the steal. Washington going for the cross crease but not able to capitalize as it's picked off. And all alone is Detroit. Backhand again. These weak backhanders not quite getting it done. They did once, but not getting it done now. And stops, takes his time, and shoots it directly at the keeper. Detroit with an errant pass at middle ice gets it taken away. Now, cross all the way to the other side. Down in, all alone, and barely bumped off the puck, streaking towards the keeper. Washington with an opportunity, but a lot of red shirts in the way. Cross crease, Ooh. shot on glove. The blocker side, beautiful block. And battles down here in the corner. Washington ultimately walks away with it. Bumped off the puck, but holding on still. Pass, broken up. Trying to pass it up, but offside. If he touches that, it will be a whistle. Oh, apparently the offside was on the other side. Interesting play going on here. Passing right out in front, shot on somehow, held on to by the keeper. Passes it out right in front of his own net with guys there. Very risky play here, but with 40 seconds left, Washington needs to get something. Yeah, they got to get front, control of this out, puck. Out to Dylan, broken up at the blue line. Can't cross, waiting, waiting. Able to hold off on that offsides twice now, but it's wasted a lot of time for him. Taking it down left side, right out. And Ace takes it away. Oshi now. Up the left side, crossing right in front. It slowly trickles, but nobody there for either team. Linda Oshi, three seconds on the clock. Two, one, and that will do it. Detroit Red Wings and Commando Slippy are your victors in this one. Do not go anywhere. We will be coming back with West versus Monkey Work, the Colorado Avalanche versus the Toronto Maple Leafs, respectively, and possibly an interview as well. We'll find out here shortly, but stay tuned. Excellent game there by both teams, Meter. Uh, but Detroit comes away with that 2-1 victory. You know, you got to believe Slippy's happy with how his team played. The physicality, I think, was really the factor in this game that uh, really pulled it off for them. It was an amazing game. Uh, uh, you know, you could see, I think you could see some of the some of the rookie mistakes there. Not a lot of passing in the offensive zone from 
the Capitals, but ultimately both teams did a really good job, and it was a, a very even matchup. I think the seating in this was perfect, uh, and this is uh, some awesome hockey to see. Yeah, I concur absolutely, Meter. Uh, you know, it was it's good to see a, a new blood in there, an ace going out and putting on a, one heck of a show. I mean, he won the faceoffs. Uh, he had, you know, better passing, time of attack, he was better. But, you know, his physical game just was not there today. Uh, and and the shots at the end of the end of the game were definitely in Detroit's favor. So good for Slippy. You know, great job by Ace putting up uh, putting up you know the first goal of the game. But uh, Slippy was just able to uh, capitalize on those on those really nice finesse goals. Now, while we're setting up for this next game, let's talk about physicality here. Twenty four hits to seven in favor of Detroit. How much of a role do you think that played in the outcome of this match? I mean, if, if you go back and you look at the game, you see Slippy goes in. He's he's making big hits on Washington players, neutralizing their top players by, you know, hitting them off the puck or hitting those huge hits that, you know, cause fights or almost cause, cause fights in this game. And uh, he was just able to control the tempo of the game at his pace and maybe throw an ace off a little bit, especially when he gets hit off the puck like he did a couple of times there. The the goal and shot and hit summaries here. Shots pretty even at the end. Faceoffs uh, well in favor of Washington to lead. And then exactly even in goals. No one able to capitalize there in the third. Uh, so really, really interesting. This one was, was over in the second, but still very hard fought every step of the way. Oh, hands down, buddy. And if you look at the action tracker that we currently have on the screen, or I guess the folks can't see it, but what we're seeing here in some of the stats is that you look at it, it's just hit, 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 all over the place, red H's, that's Slippy doing that, you know, and uh, that's where I think he really came to shine in this game, and I keep saying it, but that physicality I think really was the turning point in this game for Detroit and Slippy. But I see a lot of things in Washington and Ace that they improve upon. They're going to be a contender in, uh, in Evolve Sports for a long, long time. And one thing we've always seen from these leagues is the growth, is that everybody in these leagues continues to get better and better the more they play. And uh, especially as a, as a current reigning champion uh, and Tornado champion, I think Ace has uh, has a, a very good future ahead if he sticks with this and keeps on uh, playing these really good players. Speaking of which, we have a couple of really good players coming up next. West yeah. and Monkey Work, Avalanche and Maple Leafs. What do you expect to see from a game like that between West and Monkey Work? You've got two high-octane offenses coming at each other. So I think the name of the game of this uh, of this coming game, uh, upcoming game, excuse me, is going to be defense uh i think you know just in the past looking at both players play they both play a pretty physical uh pretty good physical game both players know the game of hockey very well uh it may hurt uh west a little bit to to destroy his toronto maple Leafs, but he's got an excellent excellent team and the colorado avalanche going up against them so i'm excited for for this coming up um you know, if I had to to pick a winner here, I don't think I could. I'd have to flip a coin and and go with my coin flip. I'm uh, I I couldn't agree more. Both going to be really good teams facing each other. Really good matchup. I know West has been practicing quite a bit today. Not sure where Monkey Work stands on his practice. Uh, from my understanding, he's been been doing some physical labor today, so he may already have his blood pumping, ready to go uh, to handle this and. Now, as far as, as practice before a game goes, Colby, do you think there is such thing as too much practice? Is there a, a, a period where you've, you've been doing too much practice and maybe, maybe it'll hurt you in the long run? I mean, it's a possibility. Sometimes you, you can psych yourself out and get into your own head. Uh, I know me personally speaking for experience, I didn't like to... Like if I knew I was going up against a team, I never like to play against them like as a CPU and myself as a as a user control game, uh, just for the fact that CPUs are, are kind of predictable. They go with how they play, and you can't really predict with how a, a human opponent is going to play a game. You know, you have like you have a, a team like uh, Colorado who has a good offense, but West may play a really good defensive game with them. And it, this could be a one, nothing game for all we know. 
whereas you look at Toronto and they have, you know, the big guns uh, on their offensive line. And again, monkey work could decide to play a defensive game. So it's it's really up in the air. You definitely can practice too much. It's it's all about mental strategy and being mentally prepared going into a game, I think. Well stated. With that, it looks like we are just about set up and ready to go in this Toronto Maple Leafs Colorado Avalanche matchup monkey work versus West. Very very exciting setting up the final aspects here and then later I, I, on tonight go ahead i was just gonna say I, i'm surprised i'm looking at the uh you know the analysis of these teams and how closely matched they are only a couple points different in each category in offense defense and goaltending so i'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out could not agree more Looks like Maple Leafs have a little bit of an edge in all three categories. Two points better on offense, one on defense, and one in goalie. But more than anything, more than any stat, the user is going to play the biggest role in deciding who is the better player here tonight. Hands down, you can you can go in. I look back and my first season when we had the TPCHL, I went in played somebody like Shane who was undefeated so far that season. I had won a single game, and I ended up beating Shane, which was unbelievable to me. That's the highlight of my TPCHL career. But uh, you know, it's it really is depending on the, on the day. It, it's it's not just about it's not about being lucky. It's about how well you see the ice, how well you can set up. Uh, you know, different plays and so on and so forth, and how you can utilize the tools that you have on your team. Really exciting stuff. Here we go. Let's head down to the ice now for the Toronto Maple Leafs and Monkey Work going up against the Colorado Avalanche and West. And it looks like they're u- Colorado is going to be using those sweet Nordiques jerseys. God, I love that jersey. <laughs> All right, here we are. Big, big matchup. One of three here tonight. Both of these guys, veterans in hockey, veterans in the league. Here comes the first puck drop. One back by Colorado. Skating around in mid-ice, trying to break into the zone, and finally does, but it's knocked right back out. They're going to reset all the way back to their own zone. McKinnon passing down into the corner, but nobody there. Matthews picks it up. Over right out in front, shot well wider than that. They're not. They're not gonna. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of goals like that with those those long wrist shots uh, like you see there. You're gonna have to. I think it's gonna be some finesse goals we're gonna see in this one meter. Excited to see it too. Oh, big pickup. Colorado streaking in, but broken up by Riley. Really good work. Getting around with it now in their own zone, up the left side, bumped off the puck, passed all the way down low, and picked up by Colorado behind their own net. Now trying to break towards the offensive zone, into the offensive zone, pass across, shot on, and it bounces off the keeper and behind the net. Wow, how did that stay out? Muzzin in the neutral zone gives it away. Breaking in Colorado, all alone, shot on, blocked by Anderson, and they'll hold on for the whistle. You, you got to believe that uh, this is almost like a, uh, a title fight, man, where um, you... Uh, you, you, you see these two these two thoroughbred fighters in the ring. They kind of feel each other out a little bit to see where they're at, and then they, they're just going to start going and throwing haymakers, which I fully expect we're going to see here any minute now. Will be exciting. Big pass, Tavares. All the way in the offensive zone. Spins around, shot on, blocked by the goal. Passing up to the point, broken up, and tripped from behind. Colorado's going to take a power play. Not what Toronto wanted to do there. Muzzin not happy about the call, but there he is riding the pine pony. And uh, we'll take a look, quick look at the replay here. Yeah, I think that was probably a good call. Uh, now, unfortunately for Toronto, they're on the penalty kill. And fortunately for Colorado, or I'm going to call them the Nordiques, they're on the power play. 
One by Toronto on the tie-up, dumped all the way in. That should kill a couple of seconds here as Colorado resets. The Avalanche coming right up the middle through neutral zone, broken up again and dumped in all the way around the boards. First minute of the power play, almost gone. Colorado stops short, breaks into the zone, spins around, lots of fancy footwork here, pass up to the point, point to point, back to the other point, down into the corner, cross ice, trying to shoot it on and it's broken up. Another good pickup as Toronto is able to get this one out and a hard shot on from the blue line. So we have 15 seconds left here in the power play. That's across ice up the left side, broken in, power play is over. Spins around, gets around the defender, around the back of the net, holds on, shot just to the side. <laughs> what a block, another good shot on, and another great block by Anderson. Cross right out, oh. front shot on it, blocked again. Fighting for it, down behind the net, and Toronto walks away into a two on one where Colorado takes it back. Hard shot and flash of the leather. Anderson grabs a whistle. Unbelievable game that we're having so far here, Meter. Uh, Toronto holding off the uh, holding off that uh, that power play from Colorado, doing a great job doing that. And now both teams getting their shots in. They're both looking really good here. Again, this is a complete coin flip for me, and these guys are just playing their hearts out. Potential fight on the, in the works as somebody was injured on a hit, but not taking it. Toronto's all alone. One guy to beat. The guy who was injured lays down on the ice, stops by the goal. Barely, barely. What a defensive play there. Oh, and oh, into the oh, back oh. of the net. Gordon picks up a loose puck shot low and not able to be covered by the goalie. Big Joe Thornton burying that backhander from Kerfoot and Wayne Simmons beautiful let's look at look at the replay nice little setup there by uh toronto putting the puck on the net and joe thornton picking up the loose puck that couldn't be covered by colorado's keeper great job there to open up the scoring late in the first period another familiar name for me a bruins fan <laughs> joe thornton getting it done as he does I don't think Big Joe's played in Boston for more than a decade now. <laughs> That's a fair point. He's been playing for a long time. Digging down in, going for the point, but nobody home. West is going to take this one all the way back behind his own net. Trying to come up the left side, sussing it out, seeing what's available, breaking into the offensive zone. Up the left side, drags, pass out in front, broken up. Trying to get it out of his zone, and he does. Toronto into the offensive zone, but offside. You know, a monkey work in Toronto are doing a great job of, you know, really tr controlling the neutral zone quite well, I think. And uh, the face-offs are almost even at 3-2, to two, and it looks like they're going to go up 4-2 to two after that one meter. Really good early game play here. One to nothing here still in the first. Harassment over on the left side and bumped off the puck trying to enter the zone. Good hit by Toronto, bad pass though. They still have it. Getting bumped from behind, Tavares. The center down around the boards. They'll dump that one in. Maybe get a line switch in the meantime. I'm up the left side now. Colorado with some good moves, passing right back up to the point, nobody home. Neyland, they're skating around in the neutral zone, dumping it over to the left, but nobody there either. Yeah, he was all by himself there, Meter. Aaron Puck's here, but Toronto finally controlling. Pass right out in front, and it bounces just, just shy of the goal. Toronto back in. Cross, nobody there. Picked off by the defense. And they're able to break it out of the zone. Over to the left side. Turns around, pass right out in front, shot on, blocked by the blocker stick side. Ooh! Another good takeaway by Toronto, trying to dump it in here. And they do as the 
first expires. After one, um, one to nothing is your current score in favor of Toronto. Great, great first period there. Both teams are really playing a physical game, doing well. The only team that uh, was able to get a goal here was Toronto and Joe Thornton. They're up one nothing right now, but this game by no means of any imagination is over. It is just beginning, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at the shots, it is in favor of Colorado right now. Hits are close to being even six to four time attack in the favor of Colorado passing also Colorado's forte face off so up in Toronto's favor penalty minutes Toronto's winning in that department but the power plays Colorado is 0 for 1 right now but really this is a it's going to be a very tight contested or it is a very tight contested game and and I think this really could be anybody's game here but if I'm Colorado I'm trying to put some more quality shots on that net Colorado currently has statistics on their side, but only one stat matters at the end of the game, and that's the big one at the top of the board. Currently, it's in Toronto's favor. Hard shot on, missed by Colorado. One by, by them in center ice, shot on again, and Anderson will hold on this time. It'll be a smart move there. Colorado really putting a lot of pressure on that Toronto defense right now. And that's exactly what I said they need to do. And Nathan Kinnick's going to go for another faceoff here, which he's going to win. What a shot and blocked by the stick side. Beautiful. Between the leg pass there by Colorado over to the left side. Toronto coming away with it. Pass up the boards. Poked off his stick. Great defensive play over to the left side. Breaking in around the defense. Trying to skate it in. Can't complete. As the goalie's able to get the pad down. Cross crease. Nobody home. Toronto trying to get out of their own zone but can't. Shot on hard. Shot on again as he picks up the rebound and puts it in the back of the net. And just like that, we are all tied up. Bravosky is going to win that one, or going to get that goal from Retinen. And that was a nice little garbage goal there. Uh, you know, Anderson really should have tried to cover that one up, but don't know he had, had much time or if he even really knew where the puck was. And just like that, we are all tied up in this huge mega heavyweight matchup. I think that's a good call. It bounced off of Anderson, and he I think he lost track of where exactly it was, wasn't able to get a glove on it. And now coming on the other side, skating out in front, shot on one-on-one, -on -one, not able to complete. Anderson beats him this time. Pass right down to the side, pass right out in front, four on none, and not able to get anything. Audrey was trying to do it all by himself there, not realizing he had some teammates around him. Could have really confused the keeper there. The four check right now causing Toronto to be on their heels significantly. Colorado out, right out in front, not able to get the shot on target. Cross over to the other side, but Toronto's there to take it. Colorado on their heels, skating out in front, cross crease, not able to get there. Good block by Colorado. Varez loses the puck. And now streaking down the right side, little footwork, but loses the puck. And all alone, one on zero, shot on Anderson, blocks it and holds on. Great job by Colorado putting on a ton of pressure in this period, really making everyone work hard. So now it's it's up to Toronto to try to get some of that momentum back in their favor. And down into the offensive zones, Toronto and immediately gives it up after crossing the blue line. Jost up to the left side, dumps it in, and the missed pass will lead to an icing. the left of the Colorado goalie won back by the team in blue over to the left side skating through the neutral zone loses the puck on some good stick work by Toronto getting into the left side dumps it behind the net Colorado comes away with it picking up the right side around to one guy cross and skating it right in not able to finish it 
Cross over to the left side. Pass trying for out in front, but blocked. Oh no, losing the puck again just after crossing the line. But able to put enough pressure to hold on to it. Riley now tries to take a shot, but it bounces off the leg of the defender. Uh-oh. Right side. Getting some good moves here. Shot on, and Anderson goes into a split and blocks it somehow. Back up to the point. Rolling with it. Not able to get a shot on and loses it out of the offensive zone. But right back in goes Colorado. Backwards pass. Calvert shot blocked. Horton skating up the left side towards the middle. Over to Simmons. Back to Thornton. Ooh. Cross ice, but... Picked off by the Avalanche again. They're guarding in front of the net very well. Absolutely. Both teams defensively have been doing a great job so far, Meter. It's just that the, who's going to, like I said, who's going to capitalize on those. Uh, ooh! Beautiful those shot just to the them. left of the net. That's a very good point. All it takes is one. Shot on, and there it is! What ooh. a finish! Are you kidding me? Uh -oh. Wow, oh. McKinnon! I thought Nathan McKinnon was down there, so I thought it was going to be a goal that uh, paid a high price, but luckily he got right up, but he got assisted from Landisag, and I didn't catch the second name there, but beautiful all alone goes top shelf on Anderson, and just like that, the uh, I was going to say the Nordiques, the Colorado Avalanche go up 2-1 to one late in the second period. Turned into a fish for a second. Then popped right up and was able to celebrate his goal, beating Anderson, blocker side, just over his blo his blocker. Extremely well done. And now right out in front, Thornton not able Ooh. to finish it. Holy cow, what a great opportunity for Toronto. Skating it right back out in front, trying to jam it home. Ooh. Two good shots on. And this time, he'll hold on with Kerfoot all over him. I believe the goal, yeah, it's Gro, uh, Grober uh, for <laughs> Colorado. He's doing a fantastic job, kind of standing on his head there for the last few seconds. On a hard shot, soars over the top of the net. Skating right out in front, trying to finish it, and nobody gets a shot Jeez. on after all of that. Toronto, after giving up the goal, really putting some fire in there, and there's a trip. And Colorado's going to get another power play attempt. Yeah, you gotta believe they're kind of chomping at the bit to get in there and get another goal. They need a, they need a safety cushion there. But uh, we'll take a look, quick look at the replay, and yeah, Dermont got a stuck, or Dermont, excuse me, got a stick in there, and now they're looking at a five-on-four uh, that Toronto has to deal with now. A good job last time of killing it. Let's see how they do this time. Monkey able to pass this one up to Middle Ice. It gets into Colorado's offensive defensive zone. Give it up again, and Toronto throws it back into the neutral zone. Skating all the way back down and dumps it high in the air. Wow, right to his own guy, but he's offside by a tiny bit. Wow, that was a great play. Absolutely, man. But now they're now they got to deal with the face off in their own zone, but they win it, so uh -oh. no big deal. Gonna get a delay of game through it. Tried to throw it up off the glass and it went just a little too high. Now we're gonna get a five on three. Yeah, that was Muzzin trying to dump the puck, but he ends up dumping it over the boards. Not good, not good at all for the Toronto Maple Leafs who are down in this game and are trying not to have a two goal deficit. One back by the Colorado. Skating around with it out in front of the net, up high, skates in, hard shot, Anderson with some leather on that one too. And they're able to clear it. Colorado breaks right back in here. Skating around with it, has time. Pass up front, hard shot and blocked. What a, what a beautiful blocker. I think that might've went off actually the toe of his skate there on Anderson. Very Getting close either now way. Out in front. Shot on another amazing block. Holy cow. Tavares out of the box. And actually skating with it well. Spez a shot on and held on to. No. He passes it out as he's being crashed. Very dangerous there. And the power play expires with some harassment here. 
All alone, two on oh. one, cross crease and beats the diving goalie for another Colorado score. Didn't quite see who got that, it might have been, yeah, it was Brandon Saad with that one from Kadri and Taves. Beautiful, beautiful setup there. Nice little cross crease give and go. You see Kadri just passes it over to Saad and, and absolutely buries it. Anderson didn't have much of a chance there on that two and one. Less than 10 seconds left here in the second. Off the skate, somehow Anderson still got a piece of it, but it wasn't enough. With all the pressure that Colorado's been putting on Toronto, you know, it, at some point something has to give. And, un, and unfortunately, uh, Toronto's now looking at a two goal deficit going into the third period. They will kill the end of the second. Three to one is your score. The hometown Avalanche have the current lead. West making it happen here today over monkey work in the Toronto Maple Leafs. We'll get a look at some stats so far in this game. Coming up right after this one is the feature matchup as Shane's Gaming takes on myself. <laughs> and we're both going to be playing as Boston. That's going to be a heck of a game. Absolutely, brother. If you take a look at some stats here between Toronto and Colorado right now, you see that the shots do favor Colorado, which is no surprise there. It hits, though. Uh, Toronto is controlling the physical aspect of this game, but your time of attack it tells a big tale of this game in the shots. The passing in favor of Colorado face-offs are pretty close at 10-7 to 7 in Toronto favor. Penalty minutes. Toronto's got six of them with uh, three power plates so far for Colorado, but have not equalized on any of them. But it doesn't matter. Like you said, the big point, the big stat that matters is they're up a three to one going into the final period. After the first, we were saying that it looked like the Avalanche on the stat sheet were playing, were a better playing team, but the scoreboard didn't reflect that. Now here going into the third, we see the scoreboard reflecting those stats we saw early. But, uh, you know, don't count Toronto out yet. They've got some big guns that could go ham at any moment. A lot of jockeying here. No shots on yet. Tavares trying to get up the right side. Poked off his stick. Colorado shoots it in hard. Good breakup by the Avalanche. All the way up to the point, but nobody home. Oh, skating in, not able to beat anybody. Cross crease pass, but nobody there to finish that. Nylander was there. He just wasn't able to get a handle on that pass, I don't think. Seemed to be a little bit behind him. Maybe the delay on the pass is a little too much. Hard shot blocked by Anderson. As it bounces behind the net. Passing up, but picked off again a lot of traffic over on the right side there cross holds on and he's tripped and we're going to see another power play in favor of Colorado oh man you got to believe that Toronto's not happy on this Hall going into the box now riding the pine pony and if you take a look at yeah, he gets a stick out in front of McKinnon there yeah, not good at all because you got to believe that Colorado, Colorado's chomping at the bit and they don't want to go 0 for 4 in power plays in this game. We've seen four power plays and they've all been against Toronto. Hard shot blocked somehow by the keeper again. We've seen all of these power plays happening against Toronto. These penalties, what does that say to you? What a hit. I mean, Toronto's a passionate team, and, and so is Monkey Work. He's a passionate player. He's trying to make some happens here, you know, maybe lift a stick or something, and unfortunately, it just ends up being a trip or a hook or something like that. So, you know, no fault to him. Playing harder. Another uh -oh. penalty against Toronto, this time for hooking. As you say, hooking. I think that's the first hooking call of the night. You are seeing might... the future. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I, I've got some... Uh, oh. Ooh. Surprised they called that a hooking. That might have been, yeah, Flash, that goes on Marner yeah. as well. Yeah. Flash or a high stick. Face off left side circle or to the right of the goal. 
on one, trying to skate it out in front, but too many sticks in the way. And Toronto in the three on five, able to clear it up to Muzzin over across to the middle and loses the puck and all alone now, taking it in one on one and blocked Ooh. by Anderson. What a play. Anisog trying to make something happen there on that one on one, but he just couldn't finish it. Another big block on a slapper. And three to one is the score as 30 seconds left here on the power play. Toronto trying to kill it by scoring. They gotta put it in this pressure somewhere. They can't just sit back and wait. They're down two goals, man. Line is their enemy at the moment. Run oh. over, but does get Toronto the puck by doing so. All alone, out in front, shot on, blocked by the goal, and they'll hold on this time. Robert play, playing a great game so far. He's looking really good. Just that one kind of garbage goal by Joel Thornton in the first, and now he's just he's playing absolutely great when they need him to. The left side picked off. Toronto tries to move the puck, but Colorado takes it in. Two on none. Shot on, blocked by the goal. Ooh. Getting down in the corner, around the back of the net, bumped hard. Trying to pass it out of the zone and just not able to do so. It bounces out of the zone instead. Colorado spinning into the neutral zone. And a slash. That was a high stick slash, but there's no, there is a delayed penalty. All right. Um, hold his face there. Eating down into the corner, gonna... spinning around up to the top, trying for the deflection, not able to capitalize. They have the extra man on as Anderson heads to the bench, but will it matter? Poked off at the blue line, and will we get that two minutes? They're going to call high sticking there, which is not a surprise after what we just seen there. We'll see a quick replay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and there's Joss with the high stick. Just like that, he's the one riding the pine pony. Now Toronto finally with a man advantage. they got to make something happen here, Meter. Do what Colorado has been unable to and capitalize on one of these power plays. Hard shot blocked by the defense up the left boards, but Toronto walks away with it, poked off the stick, great stick work, and dumping it in is Colorado. They have the lead, taking the easy, easy route of just dumping it in, no need to cause anything. Beautiful stick work, shot on hard, and held on to by Colorado. Wayne Simmons trying to make something happen there on the power play. And he just wasn't able to, to to bury that one in the back of the net. 55 seconds left for Toronto in this power play. One back by Colorado up the left side, dumped all the way down. That one will get just about behind the net. Still on the four check is Colorado. Over to the right side, Munners offside. Hard shot after the whistle. Nobody took uh, took offense to that. It's Ooh. 21 to 6. Big difference there. It's just in the hit department. I think Perhaps. most of those come in this period. <laughs> Perhaps the physicality detracting from their ability to play. Very possible. I mean, really... Uh, Colorado has the advantage just with the skill of play there and uh, they're doing excellent they're they're putting pressure on Toronto when they need to and and really really playing well not giving up a lot of bad penalties dumped in by Toronto but Colorado takes it back the other way shot on blocked that's right out in front all alone backhand on the back skate Anderson passes it right back out Given up in the neutral zone, able to hold, get on side, shot on, blocked up over the net. Getting behind the net now, trying to get it around. Pass right out in front, shot on, no, it's blocked. What good stick work by Toronto on the defense. Passing right out into the middle, Toronto passing into the corner. 
skating right out in front and giving it away. And now a three on one, shot on hard but wide. No one coming up with that one. Corrado into the corner, skating out in front. Gives up the puck again. 40 seconds left here in this game. Pass over to the center, over to the right side. Skating down and in, stops hard and gets hit for it. There's a trip on the play. Ref's got his arm up and they'll dump it in and take their whistle. No, they won that one over in the corner. They're just waiting here. Letting them touch it so they can get their whistle and try and end this game. Colorado doing a really good job of controlling the tempo, especially in the late minutes of this period. They're controlling their puck. They're passing it around. They're not putting a lot of shots on net, but they don't need to. All they got to do is, is drain that clock, and now Toronto has to try to come up with two goals with the man down. Five on four. Yet again, Toronto on their heels, just skating around with it around the back of the net and out in front for the backhand. As so clear at the length of the ice and that should do it for this game here. Your final three to one in favor of Colorado. And what a game it was. Congratulations to West on his victory here on the second game in Evolve Sports Live Clash history. Fantastic game by both teams. Monkey Work did a good job. Maybe at times a little bit undisciplined with the penalties, but really those did not come back and hurt him in this game at all. But I think really the main point of this game was the absolute dominating at times puck control by West, controlling the tempo, keeping things up, even though in the hit department he was running behind, as we clearly seen. In this case, it really didn't bother him that bad because he, he may have gotten hit, but he kept the puck. He did indeed, and all of those power plays weren't able to capitalize, but there's something I've always said about whether you score on the power play or not, if you're giving up six power plays, you're tiring out the other team. So, you know, it, it's a good possibility that fatigue was really their killer more than the actual uh, scoring on the shorthanded. That's very, very true, Meter. It's, you know, you look at the stats now, you look at the shots, Clearly in Colorado's uh, adv advantage there, a lot of shots in the third period. You look at the hits, clearly in Toronto's advantage. But the thing for me that's the biggest teller in this game is your time of attack. Look at Colorado, 7 minutes, 49 seconds on attack as opposed to Toronto's 425. Now, Toronto had a lot of good chances. But Gruber, uh, excuse me, Gruber played a fantastic game, played on his head, uh, made big seeds when he needed to. He only made, had to make 11 of them, but still, he did a fantastic job. But Colorado just going there and absolutely peppering poor uh, Frederick Anderson on a regular basis. And, you know, you know, out of 28 shots, three of those going in, he lit in five goals. That's not, or excuse me, he, he stopped 25 of those shots. So, you know, he, he did an excellent job, but it's just Colorado at times was overwhelming that Toronto defense. Absolutely. A, a great job by both of these players. Uh, and thank you so much for calling these games with me. I am going to set up for our next game now, the final game, the highlight game here, Boston Bruins versus Boston Bruins. Uh, so thank you so much for for. Uh, call on these with me, Colby, and I will talk to you all very soon. All right. Well, thank you, Meter, so, so much uh, for, uh, you know, doing this with me, buddy. And uh, I look forward to uh, calling your game here. But now, uh, you know, congratulations to Colorado for taking that game number two tonight. But now we look to Boston versus Boston. Just like Meter said, Shane's Gaming returning to Evolve Sports or debuting in Evolve Sports up against your boy Meter, both controlling the Boston Bruins. So really there's no advantage when it comes to offense, defense, or goaltending. It's completely even. This is going to be purely the skill of the player. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's all going to be about skill. And joining me for this game, I believe, is the one 
the only the voice or excuse me the founder of uh the evolve sports and my number one in my heart and yours brian langel I think they can hear you. <laughs> sure thing, brother. Yeah, it's been an absolutely fantastic night so far, ladies and gentlemen. As my co-host was saying, uh, you know, Slippy walks away with the first win over Ace in uh, Evolve Sports Clash history. And then, uh, you know, we the second game was an absolute clinic by both teams. Uh, congratulations to West and the Colorado Avalanche or the Colorado Nordiques, whatever you want to say it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he, he, he comes up with a win over Monkey who played an excellent game there, Langel. You know, those were two big offenses. And, and like I said at the beginning of that game, it, it could have been a coin flip. But if you want to talk about a real coin flip game, Langel, it's this one we have coming up. Yeah. It's Boston versus Boston. It's two champions against each other. I cannot wait for this one. I cannot wait either. I hope everyone can hear me at this point. Um, yeah, no, this is going to be absolutely massive, Colby. It's our featured uh, matchup of the night. We have two former champions going head to head here. Uh, first, we're going to talk. I'd like to talk about Shane's gaming. Oh, I, I totally agree with you, Landel, there, but uh, um, I think we may be having some technical difficulties here again, but we'll just power through it and, and do what we can here, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. You know, uh, Meter, was he's he's a consummate professional. He's the current reigning and defending champion right now. Shane, like you said, he was the first ever TPCHL champion. These guys going to head, and who do they have waiting in the in the weeds? They got Darth Travis waiting, and you know he's nobody to to uh, look over either. So, but the thing is, these competitors need to look at each other right now. They need to focus on each other because it's Boston versus Boston. We keep saying it, but here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be very tightly contested. I believe. I think we're going to see one heck of a defensive game because both of these teams, uh, or both these players or coaches, I should say, have uh, great. Uh, defensive prowess so I cannot wait to see this one I'm absolutely stoked Landry, and I couldn't be happier than sitting next to you and being able to call this one and, and being the founder uh, of the league like yourself so this is just fantastic oh thank you so much Coley I'm sorry that I, my audio keeps cutting in and cutting out I'm running this little thing that I like to like to whoa like to call windows and uh, as most people know, I am I am a Mac person, so I'm running into some technical difficulties here. But I think we got everything under control. But yes, just to wrap it up, just to recap it, uh, we've we've got the season one champion versus the season two champion, and the winner of this uh, 
will face Darth Travis for the inaugural Hockey Division Championship here in Evolve Sports Live. And I personally cannot wait. I think both teams are ready. I'm going to uh, just check with them to be sure. And we will we will get to action here very, very shortly. Uh, I'm just looking here on the screen here. Meter is punching it. You and I are going live. So let me just uh, jump over to that stream. Make sure that my voice is still there. It appears as though it is. We're just waiting for them to load it up. And we are going live. Boston versus Boston. I think Shane's out for blood. Coming in, taking Meter's team. And wants to make a point here. Wants to make a fair point that he is the champion that never lost. Because if you remember, he stepped away at the end of season one. He didn't compete in season right. two. So we'll have to see what happens here live here on Clash. It is our feature matchup. It is Shane's Gaming. It is the meter one. And it's about to start right now. Wow, this is weird. I, I don't know how I feel about this. This looks weird. Can't wait to see Bergeron hit Bergeron. Oh, exactly. Here we go. We are underway. Keeping in mind, you've Shane's gaming in white, the meter one in black. We are underway here. This is is, is kind of different with Boston versus Boston, but I'm pretty sure we've got this. Shane coming in and rifling it, but it goes off a stick and goes nowhere. Shane picks it back up again, and it's picked off by meter. Meter, who has been traditionally one of if not the best hockey player we've had in our leagues season over season in the now defunct tpchl makes the pass fires from the point blocked by shane we have a penalty already interference brad marchant going to the bench or sorry going to the box for interference colby what a game this is going to be I, I i'm just getting my nerves together here but this is going to be good yeah brad marchant no uh stranger to the uh, pine pony as it were and now he's riding it and now shane has to kill off a penalty kill and now here we go keep it in mind in league play or sorry in ladder division play here attacking on the penalty kill is legal if shane chooses to do so he can do so there's no rules against it meter all over the front of the net passes it around gets it to mcavoy mcavoy to smith smith tries to get a shot in meter and now Shane clears it out. It makes it just past center ice. And now here comes Meter again. Again, Meter in the darks. And Shane in, in the lights. We are here. This is our feature ma matchup right here on our first episode of Clash. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. Shot in front of the net. Cleared by Shane. It goes down to the far end of the ice. Meter picks it up. And here we come again. Meter making Shane did some... a great job. Oh, go ahead. Killing that penalty. Killing that penalty there, Brian. Very impressive. Very impressive oh. and very quick. That penalty went by super fast. I know when I'm on the power play, it seems like the time just evaporates. And when I'm penalty killing, it seems like it takes an hour. Uh, I'm so excited up here at the booth that I uh, I missed out most of that power play as far as time went. Shane picks up the uh, picks up the face off and brings it in. Making some passes, trying to get to an open man. Fires it on net. It goes off the post and saved by Rask. Now in behind the back of the net. Shane again looking to try to get something set up here. Puts it out to the point. Fires it. Goes off a blocker and wide. And now here comes Meter again. Bringing it through center ice. Picked off by Shane. It doesn't look like Shane has missed a beat. It looks as though there's no rink rust on Shane's gaming, he appears to be back and ready for competition. I mean, Shane's a consummate professional when it comes to these, uh, when it comes to gaming. Uh oh! Speaking of the devil, he's on a breakaway, Langel, but he gets denied by Tuka Rask in the black. Exactly. Saved by meter, holds on. No, he passes it out. Dangerous play. And now, that's a tripping call coming up against meter. As soon as he touches the puck, it's going to the box, saved by Rask. And now Meters faces a two-minute penalty of his own, this time for tripping. Now let's see what Shane can do with the Boston 
power play unit here. Meter couldn't make anything happen, but there it is. Uh, Lozon is sitting in the box, and now Meter has to deal with this for two minutes. Let's see how he da he handles this. Meter very good at handling pressure, so we'll see how this all comes about. Shane on the power play from the from the high slot shoots and it's blocked. Meter now with the puck again attacking on penalty kill is legal. Dumps it out though. Shane picks it up in behind his own net, ready to circle back around. Passes to Marchand coming in across the blue line. Shane loses the puck in a sea of sticks there, and now Meter just dumps it back out, playing it safe. I saw there in the chat, a couple people were asking whether or not it is legal now. Yes, it is in the rules. It is legal. If, it, if you want to, you can attack on the PK. Ooh. Saved again. By Raz. <gasps> oh! Sh and Shane with the goal takes the 1 0 lead. Shane up 1 0 here in the battle of the former champions. Keep in mind the winner of this game, high stakes in this matchup. They, he will, the winner of this game will face Darth Travis 74 at an event to be named soon for the inaugural. Hockey Division Championship here in Evolve Sports. Take a little look at this goal, Colby. Absolutely beautiful. Sitting on the doorstep, puts it in, and Shane takes a one nothing lead. Yeah, I think uh, I think Meter and Rance kind of lost the direction of that puck, and then Richie was able to just swoop in there and collect that beautiful, I wouldn't say beautiful goals, kind of a garbage goal just sitting in the crease like that, but a goal's a goal, and he's up one nothing. Definitely. And Shane, I mean. Definitely. Shane takes control of the puck. Meter takes it right back again. Uh-oh. And Meter pops it in short side, and we have a tie game. Blades going nuts in the stands. We've got ourselves a tie game here. Still in the first. Beautiful goal by Meter. Yeah, it looks like it trickled through the five hole there, if I'm not mistaken, Langel. Um, let's oh, see. It up and over, up and over, over the blocker, blocker there. Up yeah, over I the thought blocker. it might have went in between Rass's legs there, but uh, Smith with a nice little goal, he buries that one. That's a full strength by goal by Meter and a power play goal by by Shane. If you thought this one was going to be close, ladies and gentlemen, there's your proof. Exactly, the battle of two former champions. I'd expect one or two things, either a 6-5 game or a nothing-nothing in overtime the way these two play. They match each other so well skill-wise. Now Shane with possession in his own end of the ice, circling around, trying to come in for another attack here. Stopped at the blue line, makes the pass though, Ooh. rifles it off the post. Great shot by Shane, and now Meter bringing it back down. You know, I'm noticing right now, uh, Colby, there's not a lot of setup. It's pull the trigger and go with these two. Uh, just trying to trying to size things up, trying to get shots on the goal, see, what, see what's going to go through, see what's going to work. Not yeah, a lot I mean, of these guys around. a lot. I mean, both these guys, a lot of the time, what you see is that they put shots on net and then they, they collect the rebounds. And that's what we've seen with both goals so far. They've been rebound goals or they've been goals that the, the, the goalie just has lost the puck for a brief moment. And, uh, uh oh, that was, oh, offside. No, okay. we have I thought it was going to be call. another penalty there. Yep, no, offside but, call uh, against Shane. But, uh, you know, both players play so well. And I think this is much like the first game. It almost seems like maybe this period is going to be a feeling out uh, moment for these, again, two super heavyweight fighters that we have going. And, uh, you know, you know, throw a few jabs here and there. And just like that, there's another jab for you, Langel. Meter with the with the with the redeflection. I don't know if that's a one time or a re redirect, but either way, it went into the back of the net. Nick Ritchie with the goal and meter. Takes the lead two to one here late in the first period. No, it was just a tap. It was I wouldn't even call it a one timer. That was just a tap from the high slot. Pops it in past the unsuspecting Rask. Richie, nice little yeah, a yep. beautiful pass. But yeah, absolutely, man. He just just gave that ever so slightly. Maybe Rask thought it was going to be, you know, like you said, a one timer. But he just got a stick on that and 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 deflected it almost exactly where he wanted it to go indeed and now we have a, a, a lead in this game meter if you're just joining us meter with the black and gold 
versus Shane with the white and gold. It's the Bruins versus Bruins. Winner faces Darth Travis, who's waiting in the wings on this one. Watching with, I'm sure, huge intent. Doing a little scouting here to see what he's going to be up against. Meter now. Oh, he knows he's Go going to play Boston. Yeah, exactly. Shane setting things up from the point, trying to get something going. Meter tries to steal it. Shane gets it back, fires it, just goes wide. Meter now bringing it out through the red line, dumps it across. Picked off by Shane. This could be a potential breakaway. Oh, makes the pass, but Richie just unable to pick it up. There's someone's helmet rolling around there on the ice. Meter picks up the puck. 16 seconds to play here in the first. Tries to make it around the defenseman, but can't do it. In front of the net. Oh, just in front of the net. And now Shane picks it up. Shot on goal. Shot on goal again. And that wraps up the first period with Meter leading Shane by a score of 2-1. to one. Yeah, that was the brusque bucket running around on the ice there. And that uh, might have thrown Shane's game off a little bit when he was trying to go in offensively. But as you see, it's a you know, pretty good scoring first period. Three goals, two for the black and gold, one for the, for the white and gold. But either way, Boston's winning. Yes, no matter who you pick in this game, if you pick Boston, you're going to win something. <laughs> so uh, so let's, uh, let's look at the stats here. Uh, oh crap. Okay. Yeah. So. Shane. Shane. <laughs> so sh yep. Shane's got nine shots. Meter has six. Time on attack is pretty much what forty seconds in between. Shane with the lead yeah. in passing. Face off slightly in the advantage of Meter. Power play is one for one for Shane. Oh for one for for Meter. And uh, yeah, what a, what a first period in our feature matchup. Uh, again, this is still anybody's game. Even though Meter has a has a lead here, you got to believe that uh, Shane's looking to come out and, and hit that equalizer. Bergeron versus Bergeron. There you have it. Bergeron wins the face. <laughs> there you go. Shane brings it into the zone. Gets punched against the boards by Meter. Meter breaking down now this right side. Comes in, Ooh. shoots, scores. And Meter takes a 3-1 lead here to kick off the second period. You know, really surprising. Meter is really being aggressive on offense tonight. Not something I normally see from him. No. But Pasternak gets the feed there. I believe it was from Bergeron. I'm not entirely sure who he got it from. But it was a beautiful little forward play there. And he just buries that behind Rask. He had no chance there. He had some, and Pasternak had somebody all over him. But he's just too good with those hands of his. Yep, somehow Meter was able to uh, get the puck almost like it had eyes to look into the back of the net, and that's where it went. St shades of Happy Gilmore. Why won't you go in your home? And then, <laughs> there we go. We have a we have a three one lead here. Meter leading Shane's gaming. Shane back to the point. Shane bringing it into the slot misses the pass though. Brings it back around Bergeron, picked off by Meter. Meter passes it through. Going, he gets taken down. That's going to be a trip or a penalty shot. It's a penalty oh, shot. Oh. One thing to keep in mind here in Evolve Sports Live, we do not have the goalies being human controlled for penalty shots. So this is going to be, Shane's going to have to flip a coin here whether or not he gets this save. And all Asternak the is uh, looking to get another goal here as well all the pressure on meter right now meter skated in waiting to see what he can do shoots and it's stopped by the goalie shane with a with a sigh of relief there keeping the score three to one yeah it looks like meter was trying to uh to to get rasco more to rask right there to to throw him off and, and shoot it to the left but uh, Rast didn't, wasn't fooled and was able to trap the puck pretty quickly. Exactly. Shane avoiding that hit, able to dance around Meter, still with possession here in the offensive zone, bringing it in deep, goes to fire it across, and nobody there to pick that up. But Shane picks it up again, gets swiped away by Meter. Meter now clearing it out of his own zone, but the score up three to one. Shane's gaming. Comes in across neutral zone, gets stopped by Meter right at the blue line. And now Meter on his way back up ice. 
Makes the pass over to Richie. Richie shoots and it's blocked. Picked up by Coyle, taken away again by Meter. Meter just all over Shane. This is the Meter that I'm used to seeing, the smothering, not allowing you to move sort of setup. Shane with a shot on goal, but it goes just off the off the shoulder and wide. Yeah, here comes Meter again into the zone. Fast passes by Meter as he comes up the ice, picked off by Shane. Shane now bringing it back through. And now Ooh. saved by Shane. Holds on to it, then lets it out. And now, Shane coming across the line, trying to dance around those defensemen. No, oh, gets a wide open shot. But saved. Shane back to the point, but nobody there to pick it up. Puck comes all the way back down to his defensive zone. Wide pass by, by Shane, makes it, then it gets bumped off the puck. Meter trying to get set up. These two are so good defensively against each other. No one's really running away with that. I know Meter is a two-goal lead right now. But overall, wherever Shane is, Meter's right there to block it and vice versa. Saved by Shane, and we've got a stoppage in play. Yeah, both teams are doing a great job of controlling that neutral zone. Langell really doing a good job, but, uh, you know... Uh, interjecting or trying to get in between shots everyone uh, the only difference I see is that Shane just unfortunately is not able to get as good as quality shots on net as meter is and that's no sh fault to Shane's he's he's tried to set some stuff up mm -hmm. but meters defense just seems to be stifling him at every step of the way yeah exactly meters defense has always been his key been his bread and butter I mean goal goals are nice oh meter with the penalty, Shane going to the power play. Two minutes for tripping. What I was going to say there was, Meter's the kind of player who can win a game one nothing, win a game 2-1. And his defense is what, what keeps him in games and wins a high majority of them for him. Absolutely. But Shane's the one going back to the power play here. And he's already got one power play goal. Looking for another. Exactly. Meter dumps it out. All the way down. Shane picks it back up again. That's going to take some time off the clock here. If you're just joining us earlier tonight here on Clash, Commando Slippy. Oh! No! And as I'm trying to talk, Shane says, no, Langell, it's time to talk about this. Huge shot from the blue line, and it is three to two. Not going to say Matt's last name because I don't know how to pronounce it, but he absolutely fired a rocket, a cruise missile, right from the point and absolutely buried that one in the twine. You know what? That's a very rare goal to see in the NHL series. Not a lot of, that goal doesn't have a lot of uh, probability of going in, but Shane proves the critics wrong, proves the, the statistical people wrong, puts that in the net, and we now have a 3-2 game. We have a one-goal game right now. Yeah, man. I mean, it was a little bit of a perfect setup. You know, power play, you miss the meters missing a defender. Uh, you know, there was a lot of traffic in front of the net, and Rask really didn't have much of a chance of uh, seeing that puck, at least correctly, all the way through. And before he knew it, it was past him and in the back of the net. And now we're back to full strength on both sides, but the score is now 3-2. The damage has been done. The question of where momentum goes at this point, whether or not meter can pick it up again. Shot on goal, save. Shane picks it up there in front of the net. Tr work, working around, shoots. Saved by Meter and freezes it. We're going to have another faceoff. Almost seems like momentum has kind of shifted into Shane's uh, court, as, as so to speak, right now. The, the faceoffs, only one separates the two teams right now, Langell. And Shane really pouring it on here, trying to get the equalizer before the end of the second. Exactly. Put the pressure on. Try to go into the third period tied, if not with a lead. Both both these gentlemen know that Darth Travis is waiting. And a shot at the first ever Evolve Sports Live Hockey Division Championship is on the line as well. Shane brings oh, it oh. in. Shoot. Saved by meter. Holds on to it for another faceoff. Yeah, you gotta believe Shane loved being the first ever TPCHL champion, and he would love to be the first ever uh, Evolve Sports Hockey champion. Oh, indeed, most definitely. Meter with the faceoff win, coming across neutral zone into the offensive zone, brings it and shoots off the post. 
an, an inch the other way, and we'd have a 4-2 game right now. Puck comes all the way back down to Meter's end of the ice. Meter picks it back up again. These fast passes causing problems for Shane. Shane's great when when you know they're they're bunched up, but Meter getting with these fast passes away, it's causing problems for Shane in the neutral zone. Absolutely, man. Like it's it's just Meter's so good when it comes to passing, and I can't wait to see this stat very shortly at the end of this period. Oh, exactly. I can see where this is. Now shot on goal. Shane smartly holds on to it for another faceoff. Batgirl in the chat says, we think the Bruins are going to win. Expert analysis by Batgirl. Welcome to the joke that we were telling two periods ago. Face-off, <laughs> won by Shane. No, she wasn't here at the start of the game. It's okay, I get it. You're, you're right. She's right. You're right. Yeah, here comes Meter. Meter fires it across, Ooh. rifles it, saved by Shane. Shane again smartly holds on. That's one thing that I will mention, Colby, in my 20 years of experience of playing on online hockey... If you have the opportunity to hold on to that puck, do so. Because if you pass it out more times than not, you're putting your goalie at risk and potentially a goal going right back into your net. Yeah, I don't think either one of these players are going to are gonna pull that type of stuff. It's uh, it's unbecoming of uh, champions and such as themselves. is not something we normally see from either one of these players anyway. So I don't think that's much of a worry. Uh, if anything, they're, they're very smart when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to that situation. Indeed. Icing by Shane. Face off one by Meter. Ooh. Meter fires it on goal and it's floating there in front of the net. Five seconds left. Meter trying to get one, one more shot, but Shane crunches him at the blue line. Shot on <laughs> goal. Goes in, but the horn is already sounded, ladies and gentlemen. And Meter and the Bruins lead Shane and the Bruins by a score of 3 2 after two. Yeah, sure. Meter, you, you got to believe he was feeling pretty good about himself, but then Shane turns around and scores another power play goal. And uh, you got to believe that he really wants to get one full strength or, you know, maybe draw another penalty. But if you take a look at the total shots right now, it's actually in favor of Shane by two. Hits are pretty close, but again, in favor of Shane. Time of attack also in favor of Shane. But look at the passing, Langel. 81% in favor of Meter. Doing yeah. a great job. Face-offs are absolutely even. Your your penalty minutes. Shane's got one, and he's he's 0 for one, or he's he's caused Meter to go 0 for one on the uh, power play. But look at Shane, perfect, two for two on two penalties. Yeah, you gotta be you gotta be hoping now if you're Shane that Meter takes another penalty, and hopefully it gives him a potential opportunity to either tie or maybe even take the lead in this game. Shane deadly on the power play. Yeah, the Bergeron brothers at center again, taking the face off there. Now, last period, Meter started off quick, scored within the first two minutes. We'll see whether or not the trend continues. As here comes Meter into the zone, making it around Shane's players, making it around, circling around, trying to draw some, draw some time, maybe even draw a penalty, maybe get a quick tripping penalty out of that. But Shane doesn't bite for it, and now here comes Meter back across the blue line, rifles it. Saved by Shane, who passes it out to the open man. Meter picks it up in the neutral zone. Shane with possession. Makes the pass, but McAvoy misses it. Picks it up, still with possession. Shane coming in, rifles it. Saved by Meter, who again passes it out. But Shane picks it up immediately. Fires it back to the point. This is a deadly spot for Shane. Shane circling around. Fires it, goes up and over, and up over the glass and out of play. Absolutely fantastic job by Meter there defensively. He's always got one or two players hovering around his net, making sure that if, you know, uh, if, if Shane does fire one from the point that they can't pick up a garbage rebound or anything like that. Indeed. Shot on goal, goes off into the corner, picked up by Meter. Here comes Meter. Fires it over to the left side, trying to make his way around. Makes Shane dance around, missing Ooh. it right in front of the net. Meter picks off, or sorry, Shane picks off the pass. Here comes Shane and the Bruins. You got to be thinking both teams want to get the puck on Hall stick as much as possible. A yeah, that'd be scorer. the guy I'd look at too. Exactly. Yeah. 
Carlo now carries it across, passes to Krejci. Krejci looking for it, passes it back. Nobody there. Line change for the defense for Shane. Shane with possession again, though, comes in over the blue line, loses the puck. Meter picks it off again. These two are just going back and forth in the neutral zone. Goes to pass it across. Shane gets it, gets the puck there after it goes through a sea of sticks again. Meter trying to get set up, rifles it. Shoots, gets the rim, hits the post, Ooh. and Shane holds on. 11-24 left in the third period. Score 3-2 meter. Langel, well, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be calling a game. I'm just watching this axe and sitting at the edge of my couch. And it, it, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not already, make sure you get your season tickets because this isn't the only action you're going to see on Evolve Sports. But we'll talk more about that later. Let's get back to the action. All right. Here comes Shane through the neutral zone, down by one, trying to get tie this game up anything he can do right now to put that puck in behind meters goaltender trying to get set up again meter is so good at blocking at the line although shane gets through Ooh. oh shoots saved by meter meter holds onto it 931 left uh, i'm with you uh colby i mean i'm talking right now but i'm just kind of spitting out words based on what i see i mean i i'm taking this in this what an exciting matchup this is for our feature matchup on oh. our first episode and shane ties the game we are tied at three colby unbelievable looks like that one came from mac uh yeah that guy uh, <laughs> i think he scored for meter as well if i'm not mistaken so uh matt well, we're just gonna call him matt has a goal for the gold and uh black as well as the gold and white unbelievable yeah absolutely wires that one again there's actually three black jerseys in front of Rast there there his own teammates seem to have screened him and just like that we're all even up ladies and gentlemen i hope you didn't bet on boston winning wait yeah <laughs> here we go face off tied 3-3 last 10 minutes of the third period it is go time here in the featured matchup here on Clash, Shane refusing to, to, to roll over here. The former season one TPCHL champion shows up to play and meter equal to the task, our season two champion in TPCHL. What a matchup we have here. And earlier tonight, we have two other people who have moved up the ladder. West with his win over Monkey Work and Commando Slippy with his win over Ace XBS. Lots of movement going on in the division right now. It's going to be interesting to see where the rankings, when the rankings come out here, where everyone's going to settle up, settle up at. But right now, we have a tie game, Colby, in the last six minutes of the third period. It doesn't get any better than this. No, sir, it does not. And how appropriate would this be game to end in a shootout? My goodness be absolutely insane i hope you guys you know didn't have your warm glass of milk yet you could be up for a while tonight if this game goes to overtime and then goes to a shootout because we're going to have we're going to light some lamps here tonight shane and <gasps> meter and Sh shane just like that with a trickler takes the lead is now up four three at the start of this period shane was down by a goal now he's up by a goal unbelievable Ras thought he had that looks like maybe wedged in between his arm and his blocker but no it actually trickles through behind him unbelievable Langel yeah. great job by by Shane never giving up now he's up 4-3 now meter's going to be the one on tilt trying to get an equalizer exactly meter who had the lead going into this period now with three minutes to play although this looks like it could be an icing call no refs are going to wave it off due to the fact that meter was that close to it meter needs to get on his horse and ride has three minutes to tie this game one thing we should point out that's very important is the final minute of the third period is in real time so meter has a bit ex a bit of extra time to work with here because of the fact that it's real time. Misses the pass because the defensemen were making a line change all the way back down to his own end. Here comes Meter again, circling around. Picked off by Shane. Shane now s smelling blood in the water. Picked off by Meter. Meter with a potential chance to break through here. Keeps possession. And now we're in the final minute of the third period. 
Normally, I would say at this point, it'd be a good time for Meter to pull the goalie once it gets out of his zone, but Meter has made it abundantly clear. Ride or die, he does not pull the goalie. So we'll have to wait and see whether or not that strategy works out for him here. Shane. Oh, oh my, look at that. Sh Meter with the tying goal with less than a minute to go. David Pasternak, I think that's his second goal of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Feed from Taylor Hall there, absolutely gorgeous. And he just down to one knee and buries it in the back of the net. And now with just seconds left on the clock, looks like unless the unless some strange turn of events, but you never know in Evolve Sports what's going to happen. But in, in case, you know, this looks like it's going to extras. This looks like it has the potential to go to overtime with a shot at the championship on the line. It doesn't get any bigger or better than this. Meter with the, with the puck. Shane, that's going to be an icing call. Unless he touches the first, oh, he which beat he, he beats the icing call. 28 seconds left here in the third period. Both of these teams looking to put this away. <gasps> Shot on goal. Meter doing what he can here to try to end this game before overtime happens. Because once overtime happens, it's a flip of a coin. It's anybody's game. Meter with possession shoots on goal. Saved by Shane, who smartly holds on. We are tied 4-4. Lone Wolf ENT with the meter logo in our chat. Easy to see who they are supporting. Cheering on meters. He ties this game 4-4 with eight seconds to go. Shane holding on to it. Not wanting to risk anything. Wait, meter picks it up. Meter fires it again. Shane holds on. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievably. We, it's almost like we booked it this way. We are going to overtime in our first first episode of clash in the feature matchup i gotta turn my mic down i just realized that i'm redlining. and i apologize to everybody's eardrums out there we are going to overtime colby in a game where the winner <laughs> will face the champion or for, sorry face off to become champion unbelievable shots 24 22 this is your category i'll get out of your way but look at these stats man unbelievable look at that 24 22 in favor of shane but uh, just how oh i'm not sure what happened there but uh i'm not sure what whew. happened there but let's let's get ready we are going to overtime darth travis is waiting to find out who he's going to face and he's gonna have to wait a little bit longer can't go to bed yet travis this game is still going on all right, Slangel, I turned it back up again. I hope that really doesn't cause any of these problems. But here we go. Overtime, face off. It's three on three. A lot of open ice here. Let's see who walks away as Shane with, or sorry, meter with a shot on goal that Rask pushes away. Shane now with possession. Shane with the pass comes into the blue line, in across the blue line. Meter swipes that away. Shane Love going. three on three Langell. I know anything can happen here. Shane with possession, trying to get in, realizes it's two on one. Circles back around, goes to the to the weak side. Meter picks it up. Meter with possession. Meter circling around, passes to McAvoy. McAvoy almost put, takes the puck offside, dumps it in instead. Now Shane with possession. Oh. Meter picks it up. It's a two on zero. Oh. She goes oh. and she scores. And just like that, Meter does not want to take this to a shootout. Does not. He's like, you know what? I'm done playing. And absolutely buries the goal, the final goal of the night. The final Great goal. job by both teams. Oh, most definitely. Shane's comeback is, is going to be something that people are going to be talking about all this week. Colby, what a fantastic game. We saw overtime, three on three. Meter buries it in a 2 on 0 in overtime. Just a defensive breakdown by Shane. And that means, ladies and gentlemen, in a, in a future event, and possibly even as early as Evolve Clash 2, we will see Darth Travis and the Meter 1 collide for the T sorry for the TP for the Evolve Sports Live Hockey Division Championship. There is your matchup. It is coming down the pipe. We're going to see it. 
We'll have more information both on Twitter and here on Twitch as to when that game is going to be happening. But you will see. Look at the stats. 24-24 hits. 15-12. This is your wheelhouse. I'll back out of the way. But look at these stats, man. This is incredible. Like it, it, it deserves to be this though, Langel. It deserves to be this close because it was that close of a game. Both of these teams or both of these gentlemen could have come away with a win today. Like there was no, there was nothing separating these two when it came to stats. It was the exact same team against each other. It was purely skill, and it came down to overtime. And you know. If we had to play this game again, there's a good chance that Shane walks away and wins. And it's Shane and Travis. But, you know, I don't think this is the last of Shane. I don't think this is going to be the last time you see him. He's going to be contending for championships in these leagues for a long time to come because he is that good of a player. But Meter, he's the one who who takes the victory today. And maybe we get to see Shane versus Meter 2 down the road. I, I cannot wait for that. Based on this game alone, looking at those stats, you know that whoever wins between Darth Travis and the Meter 1, they cannot work. They cannot you know, dismiss or, or, or put aside Shane's gaming. Shane's gaming is going to have his shot at the title. It won't be in his first opportunity, but Shane's gaming is back here in Evolve Sports Live. And based on that performance, I expect him to have an absolute reign of terror through this division right now. If anyone thought that there would be rink rust on, on Shane's gaming, he proved tonight that he's back and back in a big way, Colby. Oh, for sure. You almost got to think, too, uh, that Shane might have the argument that he's number one contender already to go at whoever is the champion. Because, I mean, this was such a coin toss game. You look at the stats, you look at the play on the the ice, and and, man, I I don't care who wins. I don't envy envy you at all uh, in Travis or Meter because you've got somebody like Shane waiting and chomping at the bit to have another shot at a title. Indeed. And then let, let, let's take a look earlier tonight in our first game tonight. We had uh, Commando Slippy and Ace XBX, two newcomers really when it comes to hockey, who, you know, played their hearts out and played a hell of a game. And they were evenly matched. Then you look at our second game of the night. We had, we had, No, yeah. Bruins versus the Bruins, the two former TPCHL champions, and I know we've already talked about it at length for the last 20-some minutes, but it doesn't get any closer than this. It does not get any closer at all. And you think in season one of TPCHL, Shane won the championship by defeating Meter and won won that series four games to one. So, I mean, uh, Shane was quite, uh, you know, he ha- had the advantage in that series and won four games to one. It, it wasn't, I don't want to say it wasn't a contest, but four, when you look at 4-1, it, you know, Shane definitely had the advantage. Meter came back tonight, got his revenge, got his revenge for the season one loss, and now will face Darth Travis. And I can't wait to see that match up again. Follow us on Twitter to find out when that is happening. Make sure you're following on the channel, Evolve Sports Live. And anybody who subscribed tonight, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. Colby, what a night, man. What a night here for our debut episode of Clash here yeah. on Evolve Sports Live. I could have been happier to be able to sit in the booth for these three fantastic games and you know, I, I, we keep talking about Shane where maybe he should be the number one contender. You got to look at guys like West and Monkey Work who put on one hell of a show tonight as well. And they're waiting in the wings to get their shot again. Yeah. So, you know, I just, I, I, listen, like Lance said, if you don't have your season tickets already, if you don't have that, if you can, definitely subscribe. Because everything you see here, all it all goes back into these broadcasts, all goes back into the community. And it. Landrell, you do such a fantastic job, my friend, and I'm just honored to be a part of this league in any capacity whatsoever. I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels that way. But uh, yeah, I cannot wait for for the next set of Clash 
or uh, the next next Monday, I believe, is it is the next set of clash? Is it not? I believe we're going on a two week schedule, so we will be back in two weeks' time with Clash. The next episode. Uh, I'm not sure what the matchups will be at that point yet, but again, follow us on our social media to find out. Social media there at the bottom and our website, Evolve Sports Live, goes live in less than two days. So make sure that you check that site out as well. If you've ever seen our football site, tpcfootball.com, you're going to love what we're about to bring to Evolve Sports.live. So uh, just to recap, because my mic apparently wasn't working when I was going through the uh, the, the, the recaps there. Uh, earlier tonight, Commando Slippy and uh, Ace XBX played a hell of a game. Hats off to both of them. Both newcomers, really, when it comes to hockey. And, uh, you know, I think they're both going places. And then again, in our, in our, our, our matchup between West and Monkey, again, two evenly skilled teams in that game was an incredible, exciting game with the Avalanche coming out on top, West taking the win in that one. And then again, like I said, in our main event, in our feature matchup, Boston versus Boston, the clash of two former TPCHL champions. It doesn't get any better than this, Colby. I, I want to thank you so much for being part of this broadcast tonight, stepping in and, and, and smashing it out of the park. My hat's off to you, sir. Thank you for being involved. And I want to thank everybody who tuned in tonight to watch the, this inaugural broadcast. Your guys' support means the world. As I'm saying that, we just got a subscription from Lone Wolf ENT, so thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy everything that we bring here to Evolve Sports Live, including the final of Cup Chaos, which was our re- re- recreation of the current NHL playoffs based on single-game eliminations, and it will be the Colorado Avalanche taking on the Carolina Hurricanes. That game will air tomorrow evening. Make sure you tune in for that. And then, during that, we'll also announce what our next CPU versus CPU tournament will be. You're not going to want to miss that. So on behalf of Colbus1984 and Meter, who was on the stick for most of the evening, my name is Langela on Xbox. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time right here on Evolve Sports Live. Peace.